So we have a balance source that's known a Y source for three phase four wire. So why we call it four wire? There's the A, there's the B, there's the C here, and there's the neutral. So when you connect the wires, they go from each one. So that's why it's called four wire there. This one actually, they have three loads, and the loads all Y connected load. There's the first one, three of them, all balanced too, thank goodness. connected like this. So I'll connect the bottom. Don't connect the top yet. We're not done with it. Three of them. This is like C for each one of them. This is A for each one of them. I'm going to connect that. And this is B. Oh, actually, I want to connect it to this. What am I thinking? Oh, no. Ooh, jumping over that. I want to connect it to this end and that end. I connect in the wrong place. In a few minutes, I'll wipe all these. I won't use half the stuff I have here, but I'm just trying to show you what we have. So jump over this, it's jump over this, and it's connected here, and it's connected here. That's the B. That's what you have. And now N going through all of them. I mean, I didn't connect the top because there's more to the problem. This is load one, load two, and load three. So load one, load two, load three. What do we know about load one? Load one, there's a total power for load one, I'll say one here for Load one, six kilowatts. Power factor equals to one. I mean, we only have resistors here. No capacitors, no inductors. Power factor one. Load two. Here's the total here. Equals what? Ten. KVA, uh-uh, KVA the unit. Power factor equals what? 0.96. What is the KVA? The unit, v, VA. That's uh, power. No, apparent power. Load three. Seven kilowatts. That's average power, yep. Power factor, uh, this is 0.95 lagging both them. And this is 0.85 lag. And here's the addition to that problem, we're not done. Each one of these wires that connect the source to the load has a resistor an impedance here of 0.1 ohm. And 0.1. And the, the one that connects N to N here, that's the neutral, has a resistance of 1 ohm. Does 
Yeah, yeah sure. Balance. Nope, still. Really? You'll see when we do one branch. We... And now we have lots of questions to answer. It does look ugly if somebody just walks into the room right now without being here for a few minutes. They might turn around and leave. But if you travel through one closed loop, like VAN, and go through it, I'll give you VAN the value. This is one, continue. This is another one, continue. Right there. So if you look at one phase, that's why it does matter here. If you do one phase of that, you will have, and I'm going to clean it a little bit there. This is A, this is N, point 0.1. It's going to go load 1 here. Not even going to label it. This is the one, so that's why it does matter here. Notice when you do a some of the voltage in a closed loop now, that resistor. But remember now, the total power is 6 kilowatts. That's the total. So per phase, per phase, what's the power per phase here? Average power. Isn't that 3 kilowatts? Power factor equals 1. This is A. And the second one, Ten, so ten divided by three. What's that? Three point three three kVA. Power factor equals point nine six lagging. And the next one, or the last one, it's seven over three kilowatt. Power factor equals point eight five lagging. That looks a little bit nicer. The first one, 6 divided by 3 is 2, yes. Thank you. Let's look at the questions. The total power drawn by the loads. So if you find how much power, we're talking about average power drawn by each one of these, add them, and we'll have that. Uh, the combined power factors of the loads. Once we know the combine here, we know, by the way, the voltage VAN was given to us, where's VAN? Uh, if the phase voltage at the loads is 135, so VAN is 135, angle zero. That means VBN is 135, is that RMS? Uh, I thought that was just the line voltage, not, not the line voltage. If the phase voltage. At the loads, I'm sorry, at the loads, right here. Yep, the 135. I was just looking to see if it says um, RMS or not, it doesn't. So that the voltage right here, 135 angle zero. I'm assuming that's not an RMS value, it doesn't say RMS. That's the maximum value. The total power lost in the four wires, the phase voltage at the source, what's VAN? Okay, no problem. The power factor of the source, yep, lots of questions to answer. <laughs> okay. If I can calculate what actually the average power absorbed by this one. Okay, so go ahead. You said the power factor. The average power over the apparent power. So the average power by number two is going to equal what? 3.33 times 0.96. And that would be in kilowatts. Three point 
3.2 kilowatts. Okay. Okay, the first question is, what is the total power absorbed by the load? The loads, all of them. This is P1 plus P2 plus P3. That's per phase, by the way. So what do we have? What's 7 divided by 3? Is that 2.33? So we have what? Per phase here, we have 2,002 ,002 kilowatts. We have 3.2 kilowatts for the second one. And the last one, we said, what was it? Uh, 7 divided by 3. Is that 2.33? So let's add them. Two, five, seven, seven point five six kilowatts per phase. So what's the peak loads total here? We have three sets of them. Three times seven point five six, which is twenty two point six kilowatts. We got that one. So the first question, find the total power drawn by the load. That's it. Second question. The combined. Is it? That's what they wanted? Yep. The combined. What I have that extra I there? I have an extra I. I already have I N. The combined power factor by what? The loads or the source? Uh, well, maybe the loads here. Of the loads. If I can find the combined currents for all the loads, I'll be in good shape. So let me see if I can find what I sub 1 is what I sub 2 is and what I sub 3 is. And if you add them, that's the total current going to the load. You know the voltage, power factors, cosine theta V minus theta I. Right? Cosine theta V minus theta I. So the power factor combined equals cosine theta V minus theta I. Yep, they're in parallel. We add them. Well, think about it. If if they are, this is how much each one's taken, sure. Just add them. Same thing in parallel. They're telling you how much each one is taken, absorbing. If you, if you have the average power taken by each load, you just add them. Yeah. So if I know what theta i is for the current, then in the total current going to the loads. And basically, when I look at the total current going to the load, I'm talking about this I. Isn't that equal to I1 plus I sub 2 plus I sub 3? So I equals I sub 1 plus I sub 2 plus I sub 3. i got to find each one of them. How do we find I sub 1? We have the average power. Now again, I'm assuming it didn't say that because it didn't say RMS. I'm assuming this is peak value. Average power equals one half V max I max 
cosine what? Theta V minus theta I. Well, we have the power here, 2,002 kilowatts. equals one half V max 135 I sub max which is what unknown I'm looking for it that's I sub 1 times cosine cosine theta V minus theta I is the power factor which is what 1 remember that's the power factor for that one so again you can write that one half V max I sub max times the power factor. Power factor for the first one is one unity power factor. I sub one is equal to what? 4,000 divided by 135, which is 29.6 angle zero. There is no difference between theta V and theta I. They're in phase. That's two, 2,000. That's 2 kilowatts, right? So that's I sub 1. Now let's look at I sub 2 here. Uh, we have, we said that number equal to what in terms of uh, 3.2 kilowatts when we did it? If you change that, find the average power is 3.2 kilowatts, right here. So 3,200 for the second one equals 1 half times 135 times I sub 2 times the power factor, which is 0.96. Thirty-two hundred times two divided by one thirty-five divided by point nine six. I get forty-nine point three eight, which is four. I need to know the angle here. Remember, my power factor equals cosine theta v minus theta i. Theta v is zero. 0.96 equals cosine 0 minus theta i. Can you get theta i? Would be negative the inverse cosine of 0.96. 16.3 degrees. We need to know what that angle is. You can't just add the magnitude. So this is I sub 1, this is I sub 2, and let's do I sub 3. The current through this one, again, we, we have the average power to be 2.3, 2,333 equals 1 half 135 times I sub 3 times the power factor 0 0.85. 2, 3, 3, 3 times 2 divided by 1, 35 divided by 0 0.85 equals I get 40.7 the angle again power factor, all of them were leading, if I read that correctly, cosine 0 minus theta i, 0.85 equals the cosine of 0 minus theta i, theta i will be negative, what's the inverse cosine of 0 0.85? 31.8 degrees.
Earlier I said I equals what? I sub 1 plus I sub 2 plus I sub 3. So the total current to the loads, that's going to the loads, is equal. Let's add them. 29.6 plus, box them so I can find them easy. Uh, that's a negative, yes. Plus uh, 49.4 angle, negative 16.3. Plus 40.7 angle, negative 31.8. One one seven point one angle negative seventeen point six degrees. And now I get my power factor. My power factor by the loads, by all the loads combined, is equal cosine theta v minus theta i, which equals cosine. 0 minus a minus, that's plus 17.6. Notice that's a positive value, which means lag in power factor. What is the cosine of 17.6? lagging. Point nine five three lagging. The book got point nine five four. So this is just like a more accurate representation of the power factor via just simply adding up the power factors of the loads. What? What do you mean adding up? Would you, well, to find the power factor, you, you don't add just the the power factor for each one. You don't average them, right? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, uh, there's no way to do that. No, you can't just take the power factor of each one and just average them, no. No. What about if one of them is really a massive device and one is a little tiny one, just a small resistor, you know? Just like you're trying to find the average of a midterm in a quiz where the midterm count weighs so much and the, uh, the quiz only counts 2% of the grade, the midterm counts 50% I mean, of your grade. You can't just add the two numbers, average them, there's my average. So you have to do the proportions. You have to find the current through each one and find the entire current for the loads. So I gotta find the current for each one of these and some will have way more current than the other. Just like one will have way more value quiz versus midterm. So then you add them all and you go, okay, let me find out what the sum of the current and cosine theta V minus theta I for that. So you can, now we know what the average power is, we know what the current going through it. We said the average power per phase is what? What was it? Uh, right here, 7.56 kilowatts per phase. So if you want, you can actually replace these three loads now with this problem. You can say, I know what these numbers are. That's too much uh, pictures there, too many things going on. This is what I have. I have VAN, which is, I have no idea what that is. I have a 0.1 ohm. Oh, that's a resistor. I have a 1 ohm, 0.1 ohm. And I have one load that's equivalent to all three. That one load per phase, where was it? Takes an average power. Where was it? Right here. 7.56 kilowatts per phase. So I can replace the three of them with one with 7.56 kilowatts with the power factor of what? 0.953 lagging. Resistor here, it looks like. That's what my circuit now. And I know the voltage right here is 135 angle zero. And I know the current, I just found the current. 
That current was what? We just did it, remember? Where is I total here? 171, I mean 117.1, angle negative 17.6. Can I find VAN now? How do we find VAN? What do you think? Find the resistance and do Ohm's law. Do Ohm's law? Okay. Why? What are you trying to find there? Resistance. Why? Can you find the voltage here and the voltage here and calculate that number? Sure. Right? Because you have the current. You know the current's going this way. It's going to mark this one what? Plus to minus. We know. Going to mark this one plus to minus. We know with that voltage there, 135 angle zero. If I know this voltage, that voltage, can I find VAN? Yeah. So VAN is going to be the drop the voltage across the 0.1 ohm resistor plus 135 angle zero plus the voltage across the 1 ohm resistor. Mm. So do we know what the voltage across each resistor? I'm trying to get them ready for for us. How do we find the voltage across each resistor? V equals R. Okay, V equals I times R. Right? So let's see, what do we have here? We have point 0.1 times the current through it. And what's the current through it? 117.1 angle negative 17.6 plus the voltage here 135 angle zero plus what about the voltage drop right there what's that voltage going to be Because the book says, can you find VAN? I think one of the questions, what is VAN? Do they ask for that? The phase voltage of the source. Yep, they asked for it. What's that number? What is the current going through that node there? Hmm? Well, let's see. Let's do a, a little deviation, walk away from this problem for a second. It's one times the current through it. And let me find out what that current through it. Let's see if we can find out what that current is. Here's my load. If you have a balanced load, I want you to think about this. This is your load. We have a current going this way. This is A. This is N. Just pick a number. Anyone, I'll pick a small number. Five angle zero, just to make the math easy. If this is balance, what's the current coming down this way? Five angle what? Negative 120. And what's the current this way? From C here. Five angle what? negative 240. That current going to come out of this node. Can you tell me what that current is? I'm putting a hold on this problem for a second because I need to calculate what that current is. Is this current the same current going through the A? Is it the same current? Well, it looks like this current is going to be the sum of these three. Right? So what's the sum of the three of them here? Let me add them. 
parentheses, five, can you see that on the screen? Five angle zero plus, no? Five angle what? Negative 120 plus, yep, plus what? Five angle, what's the other one? Negative 240. What's the current through it? Zero. So there is no current going through this. Isn't that what they say about initial wire in the first place? Yep. But I bet you were thinking it's going to be the same current here. No way. <laughs> <laughs> so v that current is going to be zero here. So what's your value going to be? 11.71, that's when you multiply these guys, angle negative 17.6, plus 135, angle zero. Eleven point seven one angle, negative seventeen point six, plus one thirty five, which is one hundred and forty six point two, angle negative one point three eight. So if they just want the magnitude of that, it's 146.2 volts. Do we have 146.2 volts for an answer? What, what did I say? 146, I got, I came up with 146. You put 11.71 instead of 11711. Yeah. Is that what you did? Well, this times yeah. this. Oh, that's right. Right? There should be 146 there. Let me just make sure because I'm horrible with calculators. 11.71, negative 17.6. Make sure my current is the right value. Just a, just a few few points off. I'm just curious where the error is, because that's going to make your values, the rest of the values, a little bit wrong there. What is the power factor by the source? Isn't that cosine theta v minus theta i, which will be cosine theta v is negative 1.38. Minus or minus, that's plus third I, which is 17.6. So let's see. Cosine parentheses, 17.6 minus 1.38. 0.9 seconds. Roughly 0.96, lagging because that's a positive value. So their answer is 0.957, yep. So we're good with that number. I don't know if that's just a typo, it's supposed to be 140 there, you know. Sorry. Sorry. 
Now, can we find the total power loss in each one of these? Absolutely. Well, the point one, the power loss in the point one, it's I squared times R. I is what? 117.1 one, one, one squared times R, which is point 0.1. We, I got for that one, 1371 watts. I got three of them. So it's one one seven point one squared times R. I got one three seven one watts. Now we got three of them, right? So the total power loss is going to be three times one three seven one four one one four roughly watts. 4.1 kilowatts. That's what we lost. There's also the fourth wire, right? The, the which one you want to add to? Uh, the What's the current through the neutral wire? 